Hey, what's up, YouTubes? Danny from Swamp and Stomp. Uh, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're building wood duck boxes. I've been meaning to do this project for a while, but uh, finally, you know, I'm going to go ahead and do it now. Um, it's a little bit late in the wood duck breeding season to do them, but hopefully we'll get some to come around, some late breeders, and uh, have some have some little baby wood ducks in our boxes. Um, first and foremost, we're going to go over the safety stuff that you're going to need. You're going to need some gloves. Protect your hands. You're also going to need some safety glasses because we will be using a saw to cut the wood. And you want to have some sort of ear protection. These saws are pretty loud. Um, another, some of the tools that you're going to be needing is uh, you're going to need a uh, power drill. It could be battery powered or cordless. You need measuring tape, pencil to mark, some clamps, also some uh, deck screws, preferably deck screws because it is going to be outside so you want something that's going to be able to withstand the elements. You're going to need some snips if you're going to be going with the metal mesh that goes inside for the little ducks to climb out once they're ready to leave the, the box. You're going to need a straight edge a square, and a saw. You don't necessarily need a table saw, but you do need some sort of uh, saw. And uh, for the actual hole, I'm using a hole saw, and then I'm gonna use the saw saw to make it an oval. Uh, the material that I'm building it out of is actually yellow pine, um, three quarter inch plywood. It's They recommend to use cedar, but unfortunately, cedar is really expensive and we ain't going that route. We're just going to go with uh, yellow pine. I have a friend of mine that he has done it that way and this has lasted a really long time. I picked up this plywood from Home Depot and I just went ahead and had them uh, cut it into 12 inch sections wide, 8 feet long. So that way it cuts out a lot of the work for me. I already have the, the length, the width of the boxes so I just got to do go ahead and cut it in sections for the length. All right guys, we got everything cut and ready to go. The front, we have a three inch hole here in the center. And then it, um, we went ahead and made it an oval so that the ducks, whenever they're gonna get in, um, it's pretty much oval shape for them. This is when they duck down, it's a little bit wider. And uh, we're gonna go with 12 inches wide, 23 inches tall. For the back, we're going to go 24 inches long or tall and 12 inches wide. For the right side, we got 23 that's going to go facing the front and we have 24 facing the rear, 12 inches wide, opposite for the left. Then for the top, 12 inches by 16 as shown in plans. The bottom is the one that's a little bit different from what we have in the plans because uh, my dimensions, my thickness of the wood is a little different. I have three quarter inch plywood like I mentioned earlier. And we're going 10 and a quarter by 11 and a half. So let's start, go ahead and start putting this thing together. I, uh, I pre-drilled the holes and I aligned, made some alignment marks here so when I go to put it together it's, in, uh, it's not too bad. Here we go. So the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to attach one of the sides to the rear, to the back of the thing here. A little bit of glue.
center over here to the side. Now for the uh, for the front of this, we gotta make sure we don't forget that wire mesh that goes on the inside so that the little ducks, the baby ducks, once they're ready to get out and, uh, and explore their world, they can climb out of here. So we're gonna staple this in place. The top, I'm not going to glue it because uh, I plan on taking it back off and putting hinges on it. I don't have hinges right for it right now, so I'm just going to go ahead and place it on there. Alright guys, it's coming along nicely. Let's go to the bottom. So the way I'm doing the bottom is I'm measuring off the back an inch and a half forward and then I'm drilling a hole on either end and then I'm dropping the bottom in here and uh, putting those screws in and then the front I'm using pins um, I'll drill the hole and then use a pin so that whenever I need it to do any you know check up on it clean it or whatever the case may be uh, I can drop the bottom out and it'll make for easy cleaning but with the pins in there it'll make sure nothing falls out and nothing weird like that happens so we're going to go with an uh, inch and a half here in the front. And I'm doing a quarter inch down. I'm sorry, not a quarter inch, three eighths. Your, your application might be a little different, but that's what I'm doing here. And what, I'm, what I'll do is I'll use the base of my square. It's uh, got like a little quarter inch piece back here. So I'm using that for my spacing in the back. All right, last thing you want to do is go ahead and drill five holes here. The way I'm doing it is just doing four and then one in the middle. 
That way if you get any water in here, it can drain out. You don't want any water to go ahead and um, stay in here. there we go so this one on the other one I went ahead and added a, uh, a little handle I don't have something for this guy I had a little loop in the other one unfortunately this one I don't have a loop so I'm just gonna put a, uh, a screw in here temporarily until I get one that's just so I can have something to grab onto here All right, there you have it. Next step, we're gonna go ahead and add the uh, the bracket for the back so we can attach it to the PVC post that's gonna hold it up. Alright, now we got the, uh, the post attached, now uh, I just got to figure out where I want to set these guys. And That's enough, get!
see the beauty. Oh, there's a boyfriend.